It is so, 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 so cool to see these fish inside of a fish tank now. All right, here we go. Number two. Check this guy out, you guys. Absolute beast and a half. Beautiful, beautiful fish. He made my dreams come true to getting this giant 6,000 gallon fish tank completed. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here inside of Blake's Exotic Fish Ranch. Today you guys is the big freaking day that we're going to be moving the rest of my monster fish, the ones that are inside my patio, inside of this epic 6,000 gallon fish tank. It's been a long time waiting, a very long time waiting. It's been about almost a year and a half to almost two years to getting this thing up and running and ready to go. Appreciate everybody that helped me get this damn thing up and running and we're almost there. I know a lot of people are gonna say, when are you moving the Arapaima in? Well, we're not doing it yet because of the fact of we still need our staircase over here because she is about 50 to 60 pounds and it's gonna be really, really difficult to get her up that ladder without having stairs. So we need to have stairs before we put her in. We're just building a couple fish at a time, but today we're gonna put the big fish inside of this tank. We have the four iridescent sharks inside of the 6,000 gallon fish tank and they're doing absolutely amazing. It is so, 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 so cool to see these fish inside of a fish tank now and not inside of a pond because when we first got these fish from Monster Fish Bash a long time ago, they were inside of that 300 gallon fish tank and we were able to look at them like that, like a normal aquarium or another normal fish tank. We weren't really able to view or observe the fish before from the pond up above. Now we are able to do it from up above and from the front view. And it's better in both ways. One, it's really awesome. It's cool for videos and all that. Two, it's better because now we can look at the fish and we don't have to go inside the aquarium or any of those crazy things all the time because we just have to look at them right here and see if the fish are sick. We see if anything's going on with them. We're able to view them without bothering them that much either. But if we do need to go into the aquarium to do cleanings and all that, it's more than 100% actable to do that without a problem. We have some netting over there that we cut off and we're gonna put that on the top of this tank for right now until we make a custom kind of cage system idea around here that looks a lot more cleaner than just aviary net. So let's get going for today's video. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and if you guys like these videos, we have a lot more insane fish tank videos for you guys. It's something we've been waiting for forever and it's, it's here and we're able to do it now. So let's get to the patio. My dad and my mom are gonna help me move the fish because we don't have a team today. It's just gonna be a family moving of monster fish. So let's get going. All right, so we're at the fish tank. My dad's here, my mom's recording, and uh, it's time to get this party started. Um, get all the fish in. That's pretty much all we gotta do. Long time waiting. Hopefully I don't bust my butt. I feel like I'm skiing over here. And we're gonna go with these giant carp barge first and try to get one of them in. Look at this fish, look at this fish absolute beast of a fish it's gonna look huge inside the tank so let me just explain something real quick these net is perfect because it has small holes and the other thing the reason why we're using the bag is because we lift it up the inside fins right there will get ripped up and then they look like crap it takes them a long time to heal and if you look at his fins right now they're absolutely perfect look at them nice and perfect is that hold the net don't bring it too high don't bring it too high and we're gonna do the same thing that we do with every single fish and it'll be our best way up a little bit. Up, up, up. God, freaking A scared the heck out of me. Alright. Something like that. Alright. We got the big guys out of the net, out of the bag. And easiest, best way right there so that this fish cannot see anything. It feels comfortable. The water temperatures are exactly the same. We already temped them and checked them all again as well. The sun is beating on that tank. And because it's beating on that tank, it's staying nice and warm inside there as well. My dad knows the routine. We go up, I go up the ladder, and uh, he hands it to me. And you guys can see the fish on the other side. On the viewing panel. <laughs> Check that fish out, guys. Jeez. I love it. Good. Beautiful. Look big. So good. That's the bigger one of the two. So here, come over here. We might get a little bit of a glare right now, but that's all right. Where you go? No idea. Straight to the bottom. So like, one thing I've noticed with this fish tank is right here, no? Yeah, that's it. Is that the tank on the bottom, right in the front? You don't really get a good view of it. This guy's right there figuring it all out. I mean, look at that guy. He is an absolute beast. All right, we got a lot more to go and a lot more to grab. 
All right, so we have our Phantom or our Platinum Red Tail that's inside of here. One more carp looking, barb looking thing. A giraffe nose catfish. And we have our Golden Dorado as well that we have to capture inside of here and get inside the building ASAP. So let's get over here and keep on skating through here and try to get this other carp real quick. This one's half the size of the other one. The other one's just an absolute beast. Easy peasy. Couldn't be any better than that. All right, same thing. This is half the size, but still a still an awesome fish to have. Look at the scale, it's all shiny. All right, simple and easy, just like that. And uh, same thing. That one's half the size, so it shouldn't be, you know, too much harder. Should I put more water? Uh, it's heavier, never mind, more water. <laughs> So I've never seen this fish face to face again. All these fish, I haven't seen them face to face. They've only been inside of a pond. I've never seen them inside of a fish tank. So it's seeing them face to face now. I can see the way they're breathing and it's a little different than me when looking from the top. I've never seen the mouth of these carp before. So now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, are they breathing harder? Are they breathing less? What's going on? But this is exactly what they're supposed to look like. They're starting to smooth around, go around, and looking great. I mean, that first one is an absolute beast. Do you know anybody in the monster fish hobby that has one that big? Let me know down in the comments because I've never seen one somebody have one this big before. Look at them. They found each other and they're happily ever after. Everybody here, oh my goodness, look at this guy's face. No cuts, no bleeding, no nothing. Perfect, perfect fins. I mean, it looks gorgeous. All right, next up, we are getting our giant platinum red tail, or we can say phantom red tail. I just think it's an A grade platinum red tail. Um, he's over there in the corner. We have another one of our Arapaima that's a little bit bigger, but this one's probably just around two feet long. They have a lot more to grow. As you guys see, 6,000 gallon fish tank I made just for these fish. Farm in the back, it happens. If you guys don't know, I have a ranch for the fish people. All right, let's try to get this guy. Oh, you saw that? Focus now. Oh, there's a big guy. There's a big guy. My back hurts Check. already. Your back hurts already? Check this guy out, you guys. Absolute beast and a half. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Why, the reason why they call him a red tail catfish because they have that red tail. Naturally, they're black and white, but he is all white. Beautiful, beautiful. He would obviously never probably survive in the wild. He would get picked off, but um, there's a big guy. Let's do this. You ready for the Arapaima? <laughs> My dad's scared to move the Arapaima. We're all kind of scared to move the Arapaima. So this one's probably going to puncture the uh, the net. So we got to just, you know, kind of move fast. You mean the back? Yeah. Move up a little bit higher. Be good, okay. Double one. Ooh. All right, so we're going to do it how Franklin says to hold it, and yeah, hold it like that. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Don't pull. Come on, my run. <laughs> get to the window, get to the window, get to the window. Hey, I'm going, window. I'm going. Jesus Christ. I'm going to freaking eat it. That'd be fun. Look at that guy go. Epic. Epic, epic, epic. Look badass. Looking through the glass, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you can finally see your fish. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So a good measurement what we can look at as well is I'm pretty sure that black thing down there is exactly 30 inches. So if we see the fish line up against it, you know that's about <laughs> how big the fish are, 30 inches. And then with the window that we have, it's six foot wide and four feet high. Yeah. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. If you guys see him right now, his whiskers are straight up 
because he's smelling everything around. He's trying to figure everything out. And he's going to say, that is my cave right there. I'm going to hide inside of that hole. But he's going to just chill right there. All right, so it's been like 20 freaking minutes trying to get this Dorado in. All right, we got him up. Got him up. Got him up. Got him up. And he's And we cannot get him through at all. Don't pull them all the way up. Once you get him drawn, then keep him in the water. Ready? Oh! All right, leave right there, really. Get the back, 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 get the back. Wow, it took freaking an hour to get this freaking thing. Ready? Yeah. You're welcome. Pretty good, buddy. Can you say thank you? Thank you. To who? Donovan, thank you. Where's he at? In the corner. He's figuring it all out. Oof, that thing looks epic. They're very, very fast moving fish. All right, so we have two more fish left. And as you guys can see, the platinum red tail catfish has already decided that that left corner is his cave and he's gonna call that his territory guaranteed. These tinfoil barbs, not too sure if they're gonna make it, but Wish him luck, you guys. Put it down in the comments. Wish him luck. And our Golden Dorado looks absolutely amazing. I mean, just check him out. Swimming in here. Looking great. This is the deepest pond he's ever been in. So hopefully he stays in the middle level of this aquarium. And he doesn't bother too much of the fish. But, I mean, it looks insane. This is something I've dreamed about and had for a really, really long time. To make an aquarium like a zoo in my backyard. And this is literally what I did. Check this out. Everybody looks really, really happy. Everyone's moving around. Tell you one thing though, these fish are definitely scared of that Dorado. They are all raised up with them. All these fish have been raised up together since three to four inches, but I guess they really are a little nervous with that Dorado. <laughs> My dad said, what happens if I have to get him out? Um, we're not gonna be able to. We're gonna have to really fish him out with a fishing rod. But I don't think he's really picking on them. He's just swimming with them. But we have that net like we spoke about earlier, and we have to put that net up because as you see now, the fish are moving a lot faster than they were before. So if one gets spooked and they fly out, it's an eight-foot drop, and they're not going to make that fall. So we have to make sure we net it off now. Uh, it's not going to be the net that's permanent. It's just going to be a temporary net just to keep these fish safe until everything's good. Let's go grab the last two fish. So we've had this giraffe nose for the same exact age as everybody else. Watch your fingers. i put this guy right there. And, I mean, check this fish out real quick. Very weird-looking fish. Look at the nose on them. See if they grab them real quick. They don't have teeth like the others. Look at that thing. Weird looking fish. All right, let's scoop them up and bring them to the 6,000. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Last but not least, we have our datnoid or tigerfish that lives inside of here. He's probably around, I would say, 10 inches or so. Let's see if we can scoop this guy up. Get the net ready, or a bag. Oh, almost got him. Get a bag. Right, look at this. We literally just caught him with our own hands. In the net we go. <laughs> everybody is settling in very 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 well everybody looks absolutely amazing the tank looks absolutely amazing everything looks amazing with this giant 6,000 gallon fish tank and I need you guys to do me a real big favor because without this one guy this whole entire fish tank would have never gotten done because I posted a ton a few years back trying to find somebody to help me build a tank this way. Nobody could come up with an idea. Nobody could help me out. And now that it's done, everyone's coming to me and saying, oh, this was easy. Oh, this was easy. Blah, 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 blah. But nobody really wanted to put the time and effort and put it all together. So big shout out. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel, Pond Pirates, right here. 
right here on the thing. Once this video is over, go click that. It'll be down in the description as well. Pawn Pirates, go subscribe to his channel. Get him to 1,000 subscribers. I know it's 100% possible. He is at like four or 500 subscribers. So all of you ranch fan people, fish people, all of you guys, go and subscribe to his channel. Why? Because if you guys want one of these giant fish tanks done anywhere in the world, he'll come out and build you guys this fish tank. It's not gonna be cheap, but it's gonna get be done right. It's not gonna, like I said, it's not gonna be cheap, but it's gonna get done right. And right is the way you wanna get things done, especially when you have monster fish this way and fish that you had for a very, very long time in the hobby. You don't want a tank that get put together and then it leaks. And then a tank that you put together and then it explodes. A tank that you put together and then you have a problem. You wanna make sure your tank is perfect. So Bella's Aquatics on Instagram and Pond Pirates on YouTube. Go follow him, subscribe to him, and tell him that I sent you guys. I would really, really appreciate it. And a big shout out to you, Eric, for helping me get this giant tank done. It was a long time coming with you and I getting everything together, but absolutely amazing. Filtration is great, everything is great, and the fish are doing amazing, and we still have a few more fish to go. So one last time, go subscribe to his channel on YouTube, Pond Pirates, and on Instagram, Bella's Aquatics. You guys can go follow him on there as well. Cool guy, and he made my dreams come true to getting this giant 6,000 gallon fish tank completed. Epic. I'm gonna go show you guys what the top looks like. Me and my dad, we just threw the net up just so that we have a safety spot. Let me grab my scissors, here they are. And let me go show you what we got done up there so our fish are safe until we get the real, real permanent net in. Uh, we have some more papyrus right there. I'm gonna put it in a pot with a bunch of rocks and set that boy up over here. So here we go, it's going up. And it looks like an aviary up top over here right now. This is actually the aviary net. And this stuff is very, very strong. This is what I've been using for all of my fish tanks. And it's great, I cut a little too much. So I'm gonna cut all that off. And then we already uh, zip tied it to the side, screwed it to the corners and all of that will be situated right there. If you guys haven't been following along with the giant fish tank build, um, well, right here on this section, because this is gonna be an office, and obviously we need to have the closed off. We're gonna have a wall right here, and this wall is gonna be sealed off to the top. Here in the front, we're gonna have a railing, and then a railing on that side as well. But we're trying to figure out a design that we can open and close, almost like a cage kind of style, like um, kind of like a retractable, shutters if you guys ever seen that before in florida people and design something right there so that we can open and close it open it obviously when we're here and then close it when we are not here so our fish are safe and they cannot get out of their aquarium we don't want any situation of them jumping out because if they do jump out it's not going to be a small little three or four foot jump it's a very big jump down there and they're not going to survive that jump they're going to knock themselves out and unfortunately die if we were not able to capture them in time so we do not want that to happen. But for right now, this is more than enough for them to stay in here. And this is good for the next week or so until we get our staircase done and get our platform and everything else done. Because if you guys look down over there, you can see Big Bertha, our clown knife fish, our big platinum red tail, and our enormous rib saw catfish that still has to join the rest of the crew inside of here. Four more fish have to join this crew. So make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Why? Because if you're not, you're gonna miss out the biggest move on YouTube. Big Bertha going inside of her 6,000 gallon fish tank. The reason why we did all this was for her. My giant Arapaima, because if you guys know, if you guys get an Arapaima, you gotta think big. You gotta know that this fish is not gonna live in a pool pond for the rest of his life. He needs a giant pond or he's gonna need a giant fish tank, a fish tank like this. And this building is big enough. If she outgrows this 6,000 gallon fish tank, which is most likely she will, we will make something bigger in the long run. We're not gonna make it now because this is more than big enough for her right now. She's in about a 2,000 gallon fish tank or 2,000 gallon pool pond, the 6,000, 4,000 gallon upgrade, which is a massive, massive uh, fish tank for her. So let me cut all this up and I'll show you guys the remaining of what this aquarium looks like for today's video. Missy just came inside the building and she is all alert of right now. Check her out, you guys. She's like, oh my God, what is going on? She's looking at the fish tank and she's like, I am out of here. This is very different. This is scary. I don't know what's going on. Missy, come here. Come here, Missy. Missy, come on. Come here, Missy. Missy, come here. It's only a fish tank. They're not gonna hurt you, I promise. Missy. Come here, Missy. 
And she's just checking everything out. And she was looking at the tank like, oh my goodness. But I've been just sitting here all day long, enjoying this fish tank, watching all the fish, making sure everyone's doing good. And everyone is doing absolutely amazing. All right, you guys, so it's been around three to four days now with all the fish being inside of the 6,000 gallon fish tank. Everybody looks absolutely amazing. All the tinfoil barbs are still alive as well. There's eight tinfoil barbs. Our giraffe nose, our datnoi, our iridescent sharks, our golden dorado, our platinum red tail. Everybody looks completely perfect. And the best thing about it all, you guys, is yesterday I actually fed these guys and they did great. But again, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, put your post notifications on you guys. And I hope and I know that you guys are watching this right now and you can get 20,000 likes. The last video we got 10,000 likes. If you guys really, really like these fish tank videos, 20,000 likes and we're gonna have a banger for you the following Wednesday as well. Big Bertha is coming in soon, but not just yet. Coming soon, you guys. Um, tell me what you guys wanna see. What else you guys wanna see inside of this tank? Look at that iridescent shark, absolutely beast. The datnoid, I've never seen her so happy before. I can keep talking for hours. The net is done, we'll show you guys in another video. Appreciate all the support, you guys. Fish tank is done. Make sure you guys go follow Eric on all his socials, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.